What's going on kiddos and squiddos? Today we got some footage from before the update and then a game after the update. So this this was just before the update. We were still on 2.3 and it was announced that in 3.0 they were going to buff opening gambit. So here I am in a lobby and pretty much every single person was trying to frantically level up their beret. Trying to get some good opening gambit here. But as you can see here, this is, uh, this is right after the update dropped. And as you can see, I'm not online. And something I found really interesting is that there's like default NPCs that Nintendo uses to fill up the lobby and they all have unleveled gear of varying amounts like look at this guy he's got th three pieces of full gear I just found it really interesting that they all have like real names perfectly capitalized they're all they're all chilling and like Nintendo had to put all these in and program them in so that if you connect without an internet connection there's someone in the lobby anyway uh, I, d I, d I found that noteworthy so 50 seconds in I recently reached F rank in uh, Splat Zone, so this is my first ever Splat Zones game, and uh, <laughs> because I'm a smart man, not only did I go into it with Dynamo, but I also went into it cold. I, I had not played yet that day, and I'm just like, you know what? I want to play some. Uh, want to play some Splat Zones, and I've been like delaying it. I've been putting it off for a few days. I like I reached S, and then I just stopped playing. Anyway, I know. Uh, I'm kind of getting cornered here, so I'm going to drop down a bomb, and then I proceed to be stupidly over-aggressive, and instead of retreating after that guy wastes his splashdown, I, like, rely on my last flick before I ink. I play, like, super bad here at the start, and, uh, you just prepare yourself for some ugly playing. I, I do paint the zone a little bit here because, you know, dynamo, and I'm going to be able to get in there and fling, fling some ink into their spawn and wreak some havoc, but... Um, they also added two new songs, and I don't think this is one of them, but I've definitely had a change of heart to the music in this game since last, uh, even since last video, I was praising it in the last video, and, um, in this video, I'm like, damn, so the two new ones they added, I've heard, like, parts of them, I haven't actually ever gotten to listen to them yet, because the other last few days I've been playing without audio, and, uh, they sound really good from what I can hear, and I've had a complete change of pace to, to the, whatever new band that we had anyway and use this sick trick here but kind of fail it because I'm in, in action anyway I realize here I actually get a double kill by rolling but then I die to not actually sure what I died to uh, apparently the sploosh which is splash sploosh I'm not sure what they had on their team the new splash o -matic is ridiculous as well probably a splash o -matic. no it's actually a sploosh in this game but um the splash o -matic, the new splash o -matic is fantastic because uh first bomb suction bomb rush and it's a three shot kill a four shot kill weapon it doesn't matter. It's like outclassed by the end set, but it has a really good kit. So uh, this is our last push because if uh, if we don't make something happen here, we're probably gonna lose. So I start throwing some uh, some splat bombs into the zone with rain and a kill. The splat bomb, we're able to take back control. Uh, two down. So at this point, we're gonna be able to come back in, take back control, and make a push of our own. Uh, here, I'm basically just trying to cover their zone, make it as hard as possible for them to get out of spawn. And uh, this is where, in general, I think my like play suddenly turns around, and instead of playing reckless and shitty, I'm starting to play a little bit better. Though I still try to challenge that charger with a dynamo roller, which is like not what you want to do. You <laughs> I'm not saying to play this thing like a carbon, but like you you can't just make stupid plays with it, I guess. Um, I'm not quite sure what paints the zone after that guy's splashdown. Like I threw a splat bomb, but normally the splashdown cancels out splat bombs underneath. Uh, I also really like my frantic clicking here of the super jump button. I like realize the severity of my death. I'm like, go back, go back, go back. And I realize this is gonna be their last push, so I try to make it as hard as possible for them to get out of spawn. Uh, get an assist on that kill there, and I noticed a suction bomb rush, so I'm going to try my hardest to not let this paint the zone with like two seconds to go, uh, throw a couple splat bombs, quick swing of the roller, and uh, we are quite successful in that, so that is going to be an S rank game here, my first one actually, um, I don't think I played terribly, I don't think I played all that great, but I definitely think I contributed enough at key times, as uh, we're able to scrounge out a victory with the terrible players of S rank, myself included, fucking around with Dynamo. Anyway, I really enjoyed the 3.0 update, and uh, in fact, I enjoy it so much that I got some footage from back when the 2.3 update was still active, and uh, I'm going to compare it now, like a little change log here at the end of my video of the two different versions. So we're going to start off here. Uh, one of the big things for me, at least, was the fact that they buffed the horizontal flick of the dynamo roller. Um, they basically made it paint more, more droplets come out of the roller, and one of the words they used was it's more consistent, there are less dead spots. So that was 2.3, and as you can see here, this is 3.0. And there's there's just more ink coming out of it, it's a lot more viable to use the horizontal flick. Uh, it kills more, but not because the kill box was increased, but because there's literally more ink coming out. Which is a very welcome change, because it turns the dynamo from like, kind of a joke, into... Eh, 
it's a decent weapon that you can get results with, which, uh, which I'm quite a fan of. So another thing, change that they made here is that they made Brush's ink a little bit more cool. I mean, here you can see the ink brush inks more and the octo brush inks more. Makes sense because they're brushes and they should, you know, throw it to me. This is a big one for me. Uh, curling bombs. So before, this is 2.3, you could just kind of throw curling bombs and they went the max distance and their explosion was enormous and uh, they inked a ton on the path down. They were super aggravating to face and if you didn't notice, the meadow was basically curling bomb. There was the Enpuri Dooleys, there was the Splat Roller, there was the Neos, uh... The Neo Clash Blaster, all crazy good. And uh, if you cook them, you can see that the explosion wasn't even that big. So now they completely changed it. Now the the painting, they said that they nerfed the painting, but it doesn't look that nerfed to me. It doesn't really matter. The thing that they did do is the explosion is much smaller if you're throwing an uncooked bomb. And as you can see with the cooked bomb, it doesn't go very far at all, but there's a giant explosion. So you can kind of use them more strategically, and it's a lot less brainless of a sub. You can't just be tossing them around like willy-nilly. And I love that, because honestly, the Splushomatic and the Neo Clash Blaster were fucking nightmare weapons to face. If you had two or three of them on a team, curling bombs everywhere, just just very silly to try to face and contain. So this is how splash walls worked in 2.3. If you accidentally misplaced a splash wall or wanted to throw down a, in a different spot, you can see that it just didn't let you, which is really stupid so now uh this is 96 and you can see say you misplaced that wall you didn't like it you just toss up another one say you didn't like that wall you want to put one in the corner you can do that now as well and in general it makes the 96 a lot more viable because the sub weapon behaves very similar to that in solution one uh, speaking of the 96 one of the buffs was that when you start firing the rng is reduced and over the length of the shooting, like the longer you hold down the shoot button, the, the worse it gets. So as you can see here, uh, this is 2.3. The RNG is really bad, even if you just start shooting. And here it is in 3.0. As you can see, the RNG is pretty good. And the longer you hold it down, the worse it's going to get. And uh, I really like that change because normally with this weapon, you're not just going to be holding down the button. You're just going to fire five or six bullets at somebody. And those are a lot more uh, accurate, which is... Just fantastic. Um, here's ink mine. You weren't able to substrafe with the ink mine, which is uh, probably not intended mechanic anyway. Substrafing, so I didn't think Nintendo was going to do anything about this, but they actually patched it so that you can you can substrafe with the ink mine now. So I, don't, <laughs> I just found it kind of funny that Nintendo not only acknowledged that this was in their game, but went ahead and made it possible. So this is a nerf to the sprinkler. I don't actually have footage of this, but this is off of a, a Japanese Twitter post. As you can see in the 2.3 patch, it inked a decent area, and it certainly wasn't overpowered. Sprinkler was still one of the lesser subs, and in this patch, they just nerfed the shit out of it, and it does almost nothing. So, I I don't even know what to say about that. Rip Umbrella, I guess. Um, last but not least, I'm going to test out Ninja Squid. Basically, how Ninja Squid worked in 2.3, as you can see here, I have Ninja Squid in two mains of swim speed. It counteracted the swim speed because ninja squid lowers your swimming speed and to counteract that people used to run swim speed and ninja squid well the 2.3 patch supposedly lowers that entirely so here i am testing ninja squid with two mains and somehow i get the same swim time with the dynamo which is supposed to be a heavy weapon blew my fucking mind so i went back i recounted i even played it side by side and as you can see the same speed so here i am i'm gonna remove the ninja squid so now it's just two mains of swim speed here's the octo brush i'm gonna get 3.9 seconds which is about 17 percent faster which makes sense that's your 20 percent reduction and uh here's the dynamo which is actually only about 15 percent faster so if you're a dynamo user or a heavy weapon user ninja squid nerf isn't actually that bad because you're already so slow the 20 percent affects you less so that's kind of kind of need to kind of need to know last but not least in this uh, weird wacky video i'm going to show you guys an alternative to what i just showed you there to ink walls if you are in a roller class so that's rollers or brushes specifically nice for the dynamo uh, what I just did there, that's actually my first attempt ever doing it, so it's really not hard to do. As you're rolling or brushing or whatever you are towards a wall, just tilt the camera up and jump. And you'll do that, which makes it super quick to swim up walls. And uh, it saves you the aggravation of doing that with a dynamo or stopping running with a brush and trying to swing your brush. You can literally just tilt the camera up and jump. And that's going to be it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think of the 3.0 patch down below, and I'll see you next Saturday.